I am amazed how they turn out. They are gorgeous. Every bar is unique like we are. <laughs> I love these colors, the swirl, everything about this technique and these soaps. Let me show you how I made these gorgeous soaps. <laughs> Today I want to make another soap for the Soap Challenge Club using the spin swirl technique. I never done similar technique, it's my first time. Because of this competition I also bought a turn table or lazy Susie, I don't know how to call it. Pink one, of course. <laughs> Amy from the Challenge Club said that there is no need to use this turntable but I want to try it now that I have at home. I taped the mold to the turntable so it wouldn't slice down. The mold should be loose enough when you turn it so that the soap does not splash out of the mold. You have to be very careful and I'm hoping everything stays liquid long enough to get the right pattern. I choose the color palette according to the fragrance I will use, which is Black Plum and rhubarb from Candle Shack. This scent should slow down the trace, so we'll see. I want to use purple, gold, activated charcoal with mixed with oil, also this beautiful neon magenta, also mixed with oils, and white titanium dioxide. So let's go ahead and and enjoy it. First I want to mix kaolin clay and dry goat's milk. I will share the recipe if everything <laughs> stay fluid. In here I have light solution with 2% of citric acid and sea salt. I am soaping a little bit warmer because I have a lot of butters in it. Slowly pour against the stick blender. I want only emulsion and then I need split for five colors. Then I mix a little bit more with my mini blender. Be gentle, no rush. Stick blend just a few minutes, then stir and repeat the process. We don't have emulsion yet. Some oils are splitting out. But I stop right now and stick blend with my mini blender more. In this stage I add my fragrance oil because I want everything evenly dispersed. This is smell amazing by the way. 
it's a little bit yellowish but it's great great for summer okay now i split for my colors five colors everything mix evenly before you split some soap off I love these colors together. I hope this one doesn't fade out. We have a very light trace you should start with color pour slowly on the top of layer This is fun. Wow. <laughs> I love these colors together. Everything so far behaving absolutely amazing. Clean the mess and spin. This looks beautiful. Maybe without Suzy. It will be better.
I don't know where to stop. <laughs> In here is getting a little bit muddy. What do you think? What do you think? I should stop or... Oh, okay. I leave like this. I love it. I think it's amazing. This is gorgeous. Can you see the gold mica? I love it. I hope it will be okay. This is gorgeous. Wow. I can't wait to cut. See you! 24 or 48 hours later. Bye! I am so excited. Isn't this so gorgeous? It's a little bit shame to cut it. <laughs> I have already made marks where I want to cut the soap. The sides of the soap are also important in this design. Mitsa drizzle slightly disturbed the fluidity of the soap, but I don't think it matters that much. I just love it. Love it. I made two soaps, this technique. This one is only one bar thick. I let it sit the soap 48 hours because it was poured in very thin trays. Wow! Yeah, this is gorgeous! I don't know why I never done this technique before. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? And now in the half, each bar will be absolutely unique I let it sit another day and now beveling them they are absolutely amazing can you see the gold I just love how they turn out. They are lovely, just lovely. <laughs>